guys. So I'm we'll gonna be doing this little project here with these uh, totes. I'm making a hydroponic system where I was trying to. Haven't before, I'm gonna try big. So I got these here and they have uh, six metal bands wrapping around them. And uh, I'm gonna cut them in the middle and this leftover bit of metal on either side. So I'm gonna cut them in the middle and the leftover bit I'm gonna put two by fours. I'm gonna try to slide that into there to give it a little more extra support and also make it so it's easier when I'm accessing the inside. So there's a little bit of a ridge there so I'm not resting on sharp plastic. I don't know how that will work. This might all be a giant flop. But uh, yeah, it's the idea right now. Got nothing else to do. So I'm gonna do these with that, clean up the mess over there, build a little greenhouse thing over there behind my shop. Got some horses, and then there's another tote over there I gotta move over. Let me tell you, when you drop these off out of your trailer, put them in the right spot before the ground gets too muddy for your trailer. It's not very far, but by myself, that's, that's a bit of a pain. All right, guys. Figure out how to get it through this last muddy bit and get it over there in the little corner. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, welcome back to the scrap heap and soon to be cleaned up space. I got both totes here through the muddy area. It wasn't too bad, but considering how far this guy sank and the fact that my car sank over there, I don't want to trust the trailer in it. But, uh, yeah, so, dollies, man, used the right tools. In my younger days, I'm not that old, but when I was younger than I am now, I would have just carried this. And I did carry that one on my back from about that white trailer to a little past, like one post past the uh, brown trailer. And after that, I was just like, man, if I continue this, I'm not gonna be able to do anything for a while. I'm gonna hurt my back. So, started thinking and remember, oh yeah, I have a dolly. So guys, right tool, right job. Save your back, get more done. Alrighty guys, have fun. Um, I'll do another post. I'll add to this. When I get going further in the project, I have to do some other stuff now. But see you in a moment. Well, hello back again. Like I said, I'm just gonna start cutting these in half here. Just gotta work my way down this tank, chop in half using a jigsaw, and then uh, trimmed up that tree like I said I was going to. Thinking I might try to use the tank out of this guy for something. I'm not sure what though. But hey, trying to use the resources I got. And that's a lot of it over there. But yeah, I'm gonna use this, um, not entirely sure what it is. I heard it was like dishwasher conveyor belt. But I'm just gonna put it up over here along this fence to keep the cows and the horses from sticking their heads in here. And then, uh, yeah, should be good. It's a nice cold day, very un-Texan, but I don't mind. Found some snakes down here yesterday. They all ran off, but it's cold. So they ain't very uh, aggressive when I'm tearing up their house. And that's the pile of branches I got from this tree. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but it has a weird smell to it. It's kind of nice, but it's really different from anything I've smelled before. And look at these thorns, man. Like rose tree. But it doesn't I've never seen it get flowers. It's got these little buds. But it doesn't really get flowers. Well, yeah, happy day friends. See you in a bit once I get this chopped open. Minor setback. I lost a couple of teeth on the blade. And then it just started bucking like crazy every time I started cutting. 
So I'm gonna go get the sawzall. See how that goes. See you in a bit. Alrighty, time to get serious. Got my dad's Milwaukee sawzall on. We're gonna go chop some stuff. Prepare to see him sliced in half, my friends. Well, now the metal structure is severed. Not too bad, pretty clean. Didn't even measure, just eyeballed it. Yep, now to cut the jug in half, but I wanted to get the metal out of the way so I don't rip myself up. All right, guys, see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's not the easiest thing to see, but I got the frame off. <laughs> Used the sawzall, worked like a dream, and then went back to the jigsaw, because the jigsaw is easier to keep a straight line than a sawzall. And um, for cutting this in half, this is about 38 inches, so the halfway point's about 19. But I found that there's these many, you can't really see it in the camera too well, I'm not sure. But there's these manufacturer lines where they fuse the two halves of the tank together. I'm just going to follow that with the blade. Keep it nice and simple. Alright guys, see you in a bit. Well, it's done. Got them all chopped open. Now it's got to situate them and get things taken care of. And I got to get all this glue out of the bottom of this one so these used to be um used to hold a water-based glue for notebooks happy day all righty guys just put these fittings on i went over there getting things set up gotta start putting the pipe in between them now on these the caps Looks like I got silicone around in there. Man, this horse is making a stank out here. So then I got put it on the threads of this and then drove it into the cap. Once that dries, I'll put it onto those. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of silicone. See how that goes. Now it's hard. Now about to start putting pipe in and connecting these up and whew, boy howdy it is hot and my brain is fried and whoo whoo it stinks man joy of horses they poop all right thanks guys hey guys just got that connected up just cut a two inch piece of pipe those uh uh Female threaded two inch connectors work perfectly on these valves that are installed on these IBCs. And then um, now I'm just gonna put some galvanizing paint on the rusty bits. And then also where I made the cuts. I've seen some people leave this section on, but I'm gonna cover it with some two by four, or at least try to. Cause I don't know, I just feel like it scares me. It looks really dangerous to me. I'm, I'm afraid of like trying to lean over into the tank and getting slipping or something and getting stabbed by that or some little kid you know i don't want my niece or something getting her face removed from a stupid piece of pipe so i'm gonna try to put some two by four over it's an easy cheap fix and so let's get on with it my friends see you in a bit so guys drilled the holes the scariest part of this whole thing got the little plugs i got in and then that's it on the inside. I put a uh, silicone all around it. Silicone here on the outside, and then on the inside and then the underseam for no reason. All right, now I'm about to put the uh, plugs in the bottoms, pop them together. The sun has left me, and I'll see you guys soon. Today, we're back at it again. The next day from the last one as you can see it's nice and sunny it's not too hot we have a nice northern wind that way's north and we had a lot of rain and some hail last night so we got some water in these tubs for the rain which is nice 
Hopefully this had enough time to cure. It feels good. But, um, I'm impatient. So I'm going to fill it up a little bit. I just want to test this connection right here that I put in these guys. Just want to test it out, make sure it's going to work. And then if that works out, I'll drain out the water and then I'll connect these two and I'll have these four rows all set up. But, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, that's it's looking nice. I know I said I was going to do the wood over these first, but, um, yeah. to give the totes strength because I don't think it'll affect them much. It's mostly to give me peace of mind. Like I said before, I really don't want to fall or have anyone else fall on these pipes and get injured. That's kind of my uh, worst case scenario. So yeah, happy day. See you in the next clip. nice that it's uphill. Are they straight even? I didn't even check on that. The container, is it straight on the wood? Poop. Here comes the water. Well guys, I got these set up so far. They're on there pretty good. I haven't put any fasteners or anything in them. Pretty much to stab them with the uh, metal pipes. All I do is come over here, cut these boards out. These are 19 inches for this side and then a 40 for the other side. I think the 40 is overkill. Um, I'm gonna do shorter sections to cover these other pipes that are just alone. But anyways, back over here, just pick which side looks the best. this side just pop it on they just kind of line it up from the bottom you pick a side and then whatever side that is you just smack it like I've been smacking it with a brick would be best to use a mallet you just smack it and then it'll mark yeah, it's kind of hard to do with one hand but for demonstration purposes And then see, they got the indentation of the end of the pipe. And I just drill it out. And the pipes are three quarter inch. So I just use a three quarter inch bit. Go straight down the middle right there. Shoop. And then uh, do the next one, do the next one. I just do a shallow hole so it just barely goes in. Do the next one and then do the next one. If you do them, I found if you do them all at once, uh, you might have heck getting them in. That's what happened to that one over that one right there. Whew. It was a pain. This one worked perfectly, but if they're not all perfectly aligned, it's a pain. So now I'm just doing one hole at a time. Uh, I had three 12 footers. I don't think that's going to be enough. But uh, we'll see. But yeah, pretty happy with it. And this right here is optimal this one right here is optimal it's like you don't want to press against it it stays good and then like these ones they can still work now i'll sand these down around them makes they're more friendly but yeah 
And then this is just some pipe I had laying out for some experiments. So my joints I did on the inside, I wanted to make sure that my seals were gonna work so I didn't glue up the, the pipe in the middle. And uh, got a little bit of a drip on this one. And this one just kind of builds up water after time. Think about putting a valve in there for draining this thing. It would be best to have one to drain on that end. Figure something out. But for now, this is what I got. Pretty happy with it. But uh, I'll be back. I got to get a new battery. The battery died. All right. See you in a bit. Well, got the rest of these 19-inch pieces cut. Now to finish covering up, it's going to be that one, one over there, one over there, and then two at that end, and then the rest will be shorter pieces. And we will be good. See you in a bit. Well, guys, welcome back. Safety glasses for safety is always a good idea. So here you can see, I put those plugs in, I just drilled holes in them. So part of it is because since the last clip has been days. And uh, part of it is because we keep having a lot of rain and I keep needing to drain these so I can do the final pipe to connect it to this guy behind me. But it was too wet and it was a butt trying to get the water out. So try, I was like, man, I need to put a drain in here. So I trying to figure out how to do it and this is what I came up with. I'm going to take a little piece, probably shorter than this guy. I'm going to pop it through the hole. It's just barely good enough it's kind of hard to do with one hand but as you can see it fits just barely in there it's um so i looked it up and the outer diameter of a three quarter inch pipe which this is which i know is not optimal for a drain but this is what i got for now the outer diameter is one point zero five inches the outer diameter right of a three quarter inch pipe so that was um schedule 40 which this is I believe yeah all right so anyway so so then what i did is i took a union like this bad boy right here I cut them in half, straight down the middle lip. So if you look in there, you can see there's a little lip cut straight down the middle of it with a hacksaw. Pretty proud of myself. And like you can see there's some remnants of it. I'm gonna shave some of that off. But my idea is, is once I pop the pipe through the hole, I'm gonna put the half of the union on the top of it to kind of cap it in place and then put a 90 on the bottom going that way and then that one then that one's going to have a t at the bottom of it and then it'll go to a little drain spigot at the end but yeah i'll show you guys in a second once i get there but happy day so this is just where i'm gluing it up got that side hooked up got there glued up now it's just here to go all right guys so as you can see it's much later. Got me some Gatorade, it was a hot day. All right guys, so from over here you can see I have glued the pipe there. Added the pipe here, glued it. I did the same style as I did these other ones. They're just PVC Marvel trap adapters. Don't know what they were supposed to be for. I think they were supposed to be for like uh, temporarily joining two pipes together for a sink. I just hooked them up. So I got, you know, one in each of those with an uh, inch and a half pipe going through. And over here doing the same. Main thing I did today, which I showed you guys earlier, you guys remember, right? These tanks were up on their sides. And it was because I was putting these little potatoes in right here. So I'm actually pretty happy with this as long as it holds water. Please hold water. Um, like I showed you earlier, you know, I just chopped the coupler in half, poked the pipe, you know, drilled the hole just barely big enough for the pipe to slip through. Glued the coupler on this side, pushed it down, help it make a seal. And yeah. Probably is uh, 
just overkill. Next time I come out here, I'll just put some silicone around it once it's dry. Oh no, wrong. And then these are what I used. This, uh, I don't know how you pronounce that, Ote Purple Primer. This stuff is nasty. Wear gloves. I should have worn gloves, but I didn't. As you can see, I now suffer from purple hand. And then uh, I use regular clear PVC cement on top. You know, just put the primer first. Do it all around the pipe where it's going to glue together. And then uh, do the clear cement. Pop it in. Rocking and good to go. Make sure you clean it though first before you put the purple stuff on. And then once this dries a little bit, you put this on. And then you're good to go. And that's what I use for the glue in order to weld the PVC together. And then I used this silicone for the silicone. Hopefully it's good. Heard that you needed to use GE number two. This is number two, but I got the frost and sun resistant one. And it's supposed to be all time water. I'll put links to all this stuff in the description. Amazon affiliate! Yeah, guys. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. You can continue to join for this little adventure. Alright, see you later.